Well, good morning, everybody in Symmetry Nation. Thank you so much this morning for uh, taking the time out of your busy day uh, on this Monday uh, to, uh, to be a part of the National Sales Training Call. Uh, for those who don't know, we got some folks I know that are just now kind of joining in and, and so forth. So we'll give you a few moments to kind of get, uh, to get into the system and so forth. But my name is Phil Robertson. I'm a regional agency director in the Atlanta, Georgia area. I am direct to Jacob Peterson, uh, part of the Mike and Sarah Pappas hierarchy. And we are thrilled to be with you this morning, looking forward to um, some information that we're going to be able to share with you. I'm going to go ahead and let my agency owner, one of my agency owners, Brad Sullivan, kind of introduce himself, if you would, Brad, and then we'll kind of get started. Yeah, good morning, everyone. My name is Brad Sullivan. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, a little bit northeast of Atlanta. And been with Symmetry since March of 2020, direct to the one and only Phil Robertson right here. And uh, background, I used to be a former tennis pro for 11 years, played in college and all that. And I got my license a few years ago with another company and uh, just didn't turn out very well and met Phil uh, back in March and got started here with Symmetry. And it's been a true blessing for our family. So excited to be on here. Anytime you get an opportunity to, to share some experience, strength, and hope, it's, it's uh, definitely, definitely feel very fortunate. So I awesome. appreciate y'all having us on. Absolutely. Brad, th Brad, thanks so much for taking the time out of your schedule this morning. Um, if I've, been with, I've been with the company for a, a little over three and a half years, uh, came into Symmetry from a, a practice company as well prior to, prior to coming to Symmetry. So I came here with a little bit of of industry experience and industry knowledge. How, however, even though I came in with industry experience and knowledge, um, I wasn't familiar with the symmetry system. And um, I can unequivocally tell you uh, that the, the, the symmetry system to me is what, it was the separator. It was the thing that made everything different from the, from the background in which I came from, uh, from, from being in the industry. So when I was asked to, uh, to kind of host and take control of this call this morning, nothing more I could think of that, that would be a better topic to discuss than, than you know, the, following the symmetry system to success. And, and so we've experienced um, a, a small level of success since coming to symmetry. Um, I was promoted to agency owner within about 10 months of coming in the door um, in, our, in our system here. And um, you know, from there have been able to work with through the symmetry system and develop a, some, some leaders and and so forth, and promoted out a couple of agency owners, and just, man, we're just thrilled and excited about everything that, that this system has to offer, and I keep, I keep referring back and going back to the system, because I just firmly believe uh, from, from the depths of my being that the, the system is, is really what separates uh, and sets symmetry apart from, from everything else that exists out there, so I don't, I don't know exactly where you are you know, as far as your, 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 your journey here, if you're brand new, this is the first thing you've seen, or if you, you're, you've kind of dipped your toe in the water a little bit to kind of begin uh, this process uh, of, you know, getting into the, the system and stuff here. But, but I, I can tell you, I, I want to talk about what the symmetry system is, talk about a few components that help to make up the symmetry system. And, and then finally, you know, just ways, some practical ways in which you can begin to apply these things um, in, in your own business and in your own life that can hopefully begin to maximize what the symmetry opportunity, you know, can, can, can mean for you. So um, Danny, Danny Young always kind of, always kind of said that, you know, what we do here, we're, we're in a, we're in a simple business, but we're not in an easy business. And I repeat that quote all the time because a lot of people don't make it here because they can't seem to get over the process of understanding that, you know, this is not, this is not easy and it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult in the process of the things that we do, you know, but it's literally a wash, rinse and repeat process, wash, rinse, repeat. So Dan Danny kind of really sums it down and simplifies everything as only he can. You know, we only do a few core things here. We, we, we buy leads, we make dials, we run appointments, we get business issued, and then we hire others to buy leads, make dials, run appointments, and get business issued. And if we get good at that process, uh, then the system is, is literally so good that it's, it's literally impossible to fail. It, it's one of those things, you know, Danny, I keep using Danny, but the reality is Danny often says, you know, not making money at Symmetry is kind of like standing in a grocery store 
and starving to death. And, and it's kind of the same thing here. You know, this, this is, this is the system that we have to offer. So I just want you to, I just want you to, to understand that people a lot smarter than me and believe it or not, a lot smarter than you have developed a, an amazing roadmap that, that we can follow. So I would, I would say to you right off the bat, especially if you're newer coming in, don't, don't come into the system trying to find ways to recreate the wheel, but instead just, just wholeheartedly dive into an established system that already works and has been proven and tried and has many, many people who are, who are standing testaments and testimonies of, of what the symmetry system can do. So with that being said, I want, I want to begin this one. I want to share my screen here just for a second. I, I want to begin this morning talking um, a, a little bit about something that, that in, many, in many ways, you know, people sometimes can dismiss uh, some of these things, believing that you know, maybe they're not as important as they could be, but I want to I want to talk a little bit about, and I've pulled it up. Hopefully, you can see this on the screen. The four cornerstones of of um, of, of symmetry, and I harp on this one constantly, all the time, with our team in in understanding that the first of those four cornerstones is belief. You know, belief in yourself that you have the confidence to go out here and and do the things that are necessary to win here. Confidence in the service that we provide, knowing that. You know, what we do makes a dramatic impact in the lives of families in which we have the ability and the privilege of being able to touch. And, and finally, having a, a belief in the system and not trying, again, to recreate the wheel, but, but imitate before you innovate. And I, and I love how, how that is phrased. But I, I just sincerely believe from the, from the depth of my knower that if you don't believe in the symmetry system, if you don't allow not just you to get into symmetry, but for symmetry to literally begin to get into you, that you'll never have this, the, quite the impact that you're wanting to have both in your business and in your life with, with what it is that symmetry, that symmetry has to offer. Touch a little bit on that, Brad, as far as your, your system. You, coming here, you, the belief that you had in who we are, what we do, and that kind of stuff made a dramatic impact on you right away. Yeah, well, I mean... The belief has to start with what we do for families and how we help protect them and, and make a difference in their lives. So that's where the belief started for me. And when I was at the previous company where there was no leads, it was 100% more market. I believed in the, in the product. You just you kind of had to bug your friends and family all the time. And that's something that I wasn't a, bit, a big fan of. So coming here to Symmetry with leads provided at, you know, all over the country was, was a huge deal for me. So for me, that's, that's where the belief started, essentially with the living benefits. You know, we had gone through something personally with, with my wife with five years ago with thyroid cancer. And, you know, we didn't know about any of this stuff. And we, we suffered for over four years financially because we weren't aware of the mortgage protection with the living benefits. So, uh, you know, sometimes when you've been through something or you know someone that has and it's impacted your family, it's, it's easy to kind of get behind. So, that, that's where the belief started for me. And then obviously I had to throw myself out there into the system and uh, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of options. You know, some people get here with more options than others, but for us, we were struggling financially and I needed a vehicle that I could jump in and, and take off. And that's, that's what symmetry gave me. So, you know, we were on a call earlier this morning and really for my first 90 days, I mean, my, I just had my head down and I was dialing, making dials and, and getting better each day. And, and that's where the belief started for me. Absolutely. And I think that then leads right into, you know, cornerstone number two is the massive action with constant correction. You know, you, you, you can have all the, the belief, you can have all of the, the, this rah, rah, rah inside, you know, in between the ears. But if you don't convert that belief into some action, then you're never going to see the results in, in which you're looking for. And there's some matrix that have been set, you know, you know, you, you got to pick up the phone. If you're full time here, you got you got to be making three to five hundred dollars a week. You got to be setting yourself 10 to 12, 15 appointments a week, you know, for part time people, eight to 10 appointments a week. You know, you got to be putting in the activity. You know, I, we had a call this morning with our with our master group. And, and, and this 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 was really discussed in a, in a major way. You can't you can't fool yourself. And that this is where it comes into the issue that we talked about is that it's not easy. You know, listen. I understand, we all understand who've put any type of work into this, into this industry. Um, it, it's not easy to get constantly told no, you know, but the gold is found. You know, I, I use this analogy all the time. 
if you've got someone who, as a baseball player, uh, goes into the National Leagues and, and you know, they can hit a, the ball, you know, three out of 10 times, they have a 300, you know, a 300 batting average, more than likely at the end of their career, if they maintain that, they're, they're going to be in the Hall of Fame. And the truth of the matter is, but they missed or struck out or flied out seven out of those 10 times to, to maintain that 300 batting average. And the same is true here. You know, we may be on, on, on the trajectory of things. We may be told no a lot more often than we're told yes, but that's what separates those who find success and those who get frustrated is the fact that you just keep going through the system and you just keep going back to the well over and over and over and over and over again. Again, no one likes to be told no. It's not a part of our psyche that we like that, but part of the DNA that you have to do is develop that thick skin to be able to just constantly get back up on the horse. When someone tells you no, you move on, compartmentalize that, and, and, and you just you just kind of move on to the next person. You can't, you can't personalize it. You know, I use this a lot of times with the people in, in, in our agency. It's kind of like dialing is kind of like a waitress in a coffee shop. You, you think about this just for a second. A waiter or a waitress in a coffee shop goes to a table of 10 people that, that are having breakfast. And she asks the question, or he asks the question, you know, how many of you want coffee? And four people raise their hand. Well, let me ask you this question. Do you think she goes back in the back and sits down with her manager and she says, you know, do you think it was my approach? I mean, did, did, I, did I not shower this morning? Did I not put on deodorant? You know, what was the reason that only four out of the 10, you know, didn't want, that wanted coffee? And, and the truth of the matter is, only four of them wanted stinking coffee. So just go get the coffee the, for the four that want it and don't worry about the other six who didn't say yes. So, and, and that again has to be the, the massive action along with the constant correction, seeking counsel, adapting quickly, but more than anything, just getting back up on the horse. You know, you can't, you can't steer a parked car and, and you, know, you have to help to avoid those things by making sure that you're, you're doing the things that are necessary. And it, it, even in Brad's case, I mean, that was always consistent with him right off the bat. I knew from the time Brad got here one year, exactly one year later, he became an agency owner. And, and I knew the reason for that was going to happen was because he was constantly putting in the activity. When he first came here, I was his direct upline. Brad would literally call me 15, 20 times a day. And, and those are the people who we're, we're going to spend our time with as leaders that are, that are really raising their hand and saying, okay, coach, here I am. Put, put me in the game. What's the next step? What, what do I do? And stuff from there. And that impetus has to be on you as the individual because we have to identify as leaders the ones that are going to kind of raise their hand and, and, and be willing to do the things that are necessary to get to that, to that next step. And stuff from there. So, so again, that belief system, the massive action with correction, uh, massive uh, action with constant correction, the commitment to self, uh, constant uh, self. Hey, so, yeah, sure, mention, go ahead. I mentioned yeah. one thing on the massive sure. action is sure. the constant correction because there, there's a big difference between an employee and a business mindset, right? Well, yeah. And with an employee mindset, a lot of people have been employed, including myself. And you know, you have set hours that you have to be there, and if, if you stop showing up, then you're not going to be there much longer. Here, yeah. in, on a, in a business mindset, there, there's nobody telling you what to do. So a lot of this stuff has to come internally. And, and that's the importance of which we're about to get into with self-improvement and growth. But the constant correction, I mean, sometimes we're our worst critic, right? Sometimes the way we talk to ourselves is not very nice if uh, other people heard what we were saying to ourselves, especially uh, naked in front of the mirror. But, um, but, but anyway, I mean, it, it's, it's so important that we look at, you know, A, what are the things that we can improve on from each call and on a day-to-day -day basis? And then what are the things that we're doing well that are working? Also, we don't want to just look at the negative. We got to look at the positive, what, what's working. And the great thing about symmetry is it, it sets out exactly what to do. Set a minimum of 12 to 15 appointments for full-time and eight to 10 part-time, right? So there has to be some action that has to happen from somebody being at home or in an office, wherever you are, there has to be some consistent activity every day. And, and for a lot of people, it's, you know, you're not used to it and that's okay. I wasn't either, but you know, if you want to make it here, you're going to get used to it. Right. And, and it's important to have those, those positive influences around you as well with that. Exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> It's often been said of Symmetry that we are a, a, a leadership development company that just happens to sell insurance. And, and there's so much truth into that. You know, the person who 
the, the person who you are is who's gotten you to this point. Uh, but the person that gets you to the next level of your life, your life is going to have to be a person who changes from the person that you are now. And that, that has to come through intentional uh, activity. You know, John Maxwell wrote, wrote the book, Intentional Living. And, you know, anything in life worth having is, is, is uphill. And we must develop uphill habits and, and so forth to accomplish those things. So, you know, my question to you would be, you know, what are you doing to self-improve? You know, what, what kind of books are you reading? What kind of people are you listening to? Who is, who is influencing that space uh, that, that's between your ears? And, and it's huge here because we do get told no a lot. We have to be in the right mindset. We have to be in the positive frame of mind, you know, that positive mental attitude and, and those things that take effect. And if you're constantly allowing the negativity to float around inside your head and take root with those things, then it's certainly no question about it. It, it is going, it is absolutely going to affect your performance and how well that, that activity sees the results in which you're looking for. So again, read educational materials, read books, you know, read, read, read those things that are necessary, become a student of the business, listen to the podcasts and the, the training audios and those kinds of things. It always amazes me as I, I've recruited in this industry and even here at Symmetry, the truth of the matter is the people who complain the most and say that they're getting the least support to get them to where they want to be are always the ones who are doing the least. You know, you, you get into a conversation with people saying that they don't feel this, they don't feel that. But then you ask them, well, have you have you been on the, the, the training calls? Have you have you gone through the onboarding material? And of course, the answer to those things are, are no. And so our job is just to make those resources available but at the same time, you have to be willing to put forth the effort that's necessary to allow those resources to take hold in your, in your life and in your business as well. And then finally, you know, of, of the four cornerstones, associating with the right people. Man, that is so, uh, that is so very, very, very important. You know, you got to look for optimistic people to hang around in your life. And, uh, so, you know, you, you got to be careful that you don't let the negative influences, the negative people in your life derail you of the things in which you want to accomplish and sometimes listen you got to be careful sometimes the most negative people in your life are, they're they're related to you so you you got to be careful that you don't let some of those negative influences so again finding yourself being around the right people listening to the right advice you know um, being at the being at the training events being at conference being being at those things are so vital and so important to making sure that we're keeping uh, that we're keeping now, again all of this stuff i know is people that well this is frou frou you know what but the, the the mindset of how you go into this process of then actually applying these things to your business cannot be understated and, and stuff from 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 that perspective anything else brad on the four cornerstones before we move on yeah i mean i, I think a lot of it with the with personal growth and development is having awareness mm -hmm. right ha having awareness of you know what do we and, and we get a lot of that awareness from, you know, who we, who we are listening to, what are we watching, what, you know, who are we hanging around, They're, we're all so influential. I mean, just look at different periods of your life. I know there's been different hardships through my life with, you know, some where I wasn't doing very well and some where I've been in, in better spots and I can look at the people I was around and I was around people that were in the same situation as I was. So here we have an opportunity to really associate with the right people. Cause like Phil said, if your hand's not up, you're probably not going to be in the game. You know, there, there's a simple saying, if, if you want a hug, go give one. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and that's, that's how this business has to work. You have to reach out to the, your leadership, to your mentors in this business and let them know that, that you want to get in the game. And uh, it, it's, it, it's a beautiful thing here. You know, we just got back from Asheville with, with the founders for agency owners Academy and it was just amazing to see the culture and, you know, just the leaders that, that we have in this business that are pulling for us. It, it was an unbelievable uh, weekend. And, and again, it just tells me, it, it even pushes me more, Phil, to say, I've got to even find more people that I want to, that I got to be reaching out to. And, you know, besides you and, and, and you know, our upline. So it's, it's really is powerful. But, but that awareness, I think, whether you get that from walking you know, exercise, prayer, meditation, you, you know, whatever you do, that, that self-evaluation and awareness has really done wonders for me in this business. Absolutely, absolutely, for sure. So again, guys, those four corners, the founders just didn't put those things in place for no reason. The reality is these things are 
the real cornerstones to, to having a successful mindset, which in turn then will turn itself into a successful business from there. So now let's look at the next phase of this that we that we want to look at, talking about you know the four keys to a successful week. And we're gonna we're gonna spend a, a little bit of time on, on this this morning because I believe that you know as as an agent we 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 oftentimes we oftentimes find ourselves busy. But the, the question is, are we, are we really busy on the right things to, that really are going to produce the income and produce the results that, that we're looking for? So I want to I kind of start this this morning talking a little bit about, you know, the, 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 the four keys to a successful week. Because there again, again, we're, we're going right back to the, the, the content of the call is it's the system. And the system has matrix that have been laid out, things that have been put in place to make sure that we are, you know, following that laid down roadmap. It's literally like following a roadmap, you know, and so forth. So I want to, I always tell people there's three things that, that separated symmetry in my eyes when, when I was approached with the opportunity to come here. Number one was the lead system. Number two was the, the fact that we had that we had ownership and, and the ability to own our own businesses. And number three was, was the compensation model and, and how, you know, we, we could, we could be business owners and, and the sky was the limit as far as those things. So talking about resources um, guys, I, I don't have a lot of patience just from a personal per, per standpoint, from point of view, I really don't have a lot of patience for, for folks who, who complain a lot about our lead system. Uh, I, I, I tell people all the time, You'd have had to have seen where I came from. You'd had to have seen a part of the system that I was a part of before coming to Symmetry. We had no leads. I had been in the cult, in the warm market recruiting world and the warm market sales world for about you know nine years prior to coming to Symmetry in the in the life insurance business with a practice company. And I had I had approached people so many times. My family and friends were shunning me. They would walk on the other side of the street if I was walking down this side of the street because they knew I was trying to recruit them. They didn't invite me to the family functions. They didn't invite me to the to the birthday parties because all I wanted to do was talk about, you know, trying to recruit them into the life insurance world or, or get into their market so I could find someone to sell to. So, you know, when you come here realizing I when I came here and realized there were people who were actually interested in buying insurance and they were sending in their information asking for people to call them back. I thought I had died and gone to heaven. I mean, this was this was just unreal to me. So it doesn't matter to me what the system is as far as the, the leads are concerned. Whether you're a bonus lead person or whether you're an A lead person, the simple fact of the matter of, of being able, I mean, listen, you're talking to a guy who we used to go to the food court at the mall during the week on lunchtime and stand in the mall or stand in the entrance way to Walmart and try to recruit people that way. If they had a pulse, they were a potential recruit. If they had a pulse, they were a potential person to buy a policy. And that's how I made a living for almost nine years. So, so here's the thing, guys, you know, our lead system allows you to get in front of people quickly, quality amount of leads with, with, with people that are looking for what we have to offer. And, and that cannot be understated, you know, but you got you got to utilize those resources for a full time person needing 15 appointments a, a week, you, you got to be fine by 50 to 60 leads a week in some type of combination part time agent, you need to be spending 100 150 maybe more a week to, to get you those appointments that you need. So, you know, uh, again, leads it's kind of like if you were to go out here and start yourself a, a lawn care business and you were to buy a great John Deere tractor and you were to buy a, a mower and you were to buy a truck to pull it with and a nice trailer so you look so good when you pull up in front of your potential new client's home to cut their lawn, but yet you haven't put any gasoline inside the mower, how much cutting of that lawn are you going to accomplish? The fact of the matter is you're not going to cut any. And that's exactly the same thing with leads. Man, you can have all this knowledge, experience, and all those things. I can't tell you at the company I was at prior to coming to Symmetry, man, we would go up to these long weekends every six to eight weeks, and we would go we would go get all pumped up and get excited about all the things that we had to offer. I mean, you felt like you could take on hell with a water gun, you know, when, when you came back from these things. But yet on Monday morning, when it came time for me to go and talk, I had to call the same group of people that I had to call on Thursday before I went to that meeting. So I was deflated very, very quickly. Here, our system is not that way. The, the, and, and the lead system, is, is the lead system at Symmetry perfect? I'll be the first to tell you, no, there, there's, you're going to get some duplicates. You're going to get, but the reality is there's nothing that compares to the Symmetry lead system. I've, I've tried them. 
And there's absolutely even even Brad, and we can kind of talk a little bit about this. When you first came here, I, you know, I'm one of those guys. I give you just enough rope. If you keep on after me, I'm going to give you just enough rope to let you hang yourself until it teaches you the lesson that that you need to learn. And, and Brad, we went through this a little bit with you. You kept getting all these invitations in your ear about this and that and the other. Even though you had seen fast, quick success, you wanted to kind of go down that path. And I let you, I let you, I even followed you down to, to, to make sure I was there to catch you when you fell in, in that. You want to kind of elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah. And, and I think you kind of, you kind of said it, uh, you know, people can, can seem like they're busy here. Uh, Cause I mean, there's probably a call or something you could be plugged into every hour of the week if you wanted to be, but where we're going to protect the families and make money is from these dials and setting these appointments. And if we don't have clients, we're not making any money. So this is the most important resource in, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was, I was, you know, calling the leads, putting in apps and, and all that. And then, you start getting hit up by all these, you know, other, other lead options out there. And I tried a few of them and, uh, you know, not that I didn't write a few apps here and there, but what I was putting in compared to, you know, symmetry, it, it was, it, it was a joke. So yeah. I, I would uh, highly recommend, you know, sticking to what we have here at symmetry and, and just, you know, that's, that's what I live off of is, is these leads. So exactly. And again, symmetry works very, very hard to put quality leads at the most inexpensive price possible in the hands of agents so again it's one of those things just just follow blindly follow the system and i promise you, you you'll see what you're looking for again we're going to talk about activity the consistent activity is the key to your success symmetry again we talked about this a little bit in in the beginning but that that massive activity is so 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 vitally important you know uh, you, you can't you can't replace knowledge for activity and i promise you one of the one of the most debilitating things and i talk to new agents about this stuff all the time one of the most debilitating things about the symmetry system with people is they think they have to know everything before you do anything and and that's the biggest fallacy here is the fact that you know there, there's just a few core things you need to do you, you got to get all the paperwork in place but but then through the onboarding process you know learn the script Get familiar with that process. Get yourself a good un generalized understanding uh, of what it is that how the carriers work and the different products that we have to offer. And then, for lack of a better term, get busy. Get on the phone. Buy that first set of leads. Start making those dials. Nothing is going to prepare you quicker than when you start getting asked those questions by those clients who you're talking to or you're not seeing the results. And, and it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to challenge you to become even better at, at what it is that you do. Reach out to your upline. Don't sit there and make 300 dials and talk to 40 people and not set a single appointment before you reach out to your upline to say, this is what I'm doing. What, what are some things I can change? That's what, that's what we're here for is to help with that, with that process. But nothing, nothing, nothing replaces the activity. You know, the knowledge, the knowledge, all those things cannot take the place of, of, of that activity. Competence will come as a result of the massive amount of activity. That, and anybody who has had any, any type of success at Symmetry, they, they followed that, that sit by the leads, make the dials, run the appointments, you know, get the business issued, and then hire other people to go do the same thing. Again, wash, rinse, and repeat through, through the whole process. But nothing takes place of that activity. And with the lead system being what it is, we give you a great opportunity to while you're literally while you're still learning the process, you get to earn vast amounts of income as well as, as a result of that process and stuff from that. Phil, if you see that first word under activity, it's consistent, right? right. Consistent activity. And, you know, success loves speed. And whether you're part-time or full-time here, if you're not consistent, it takes a little while to get this thing up and running and you've got to build a pipeline. Yep. And that doesn't happen if you're, you know, on for a week and then off for two, you know, there, even if you only have two hours a day, those two hours need to, there needs to be consistent, massive activity during those two hours. So it really kind of, and, and listen, I, my strong suit was not being organized and but I'll tell you what, I, th this calendar I have on here has been a lifesaver for me. Scheduling, you know, the time I work, we've got, you know, young kids. So it's imperative that I kind of have my set consistent hours of the day that I know I'm working. So exactly. Sarah, Sarah Pappas, my, my upline, she always she always taught us and told me and I learned a lot from this, you know, people getting started. You know, you'll, you'll have a large understanding 
of what it is that we do and how it is we do it after you've ran 30 appointments here. The question is, how fast are you going to knock that out and get through that learning curve of those first 30 appointments? The person who goes out and runs those 30 appointments in two weeks are going to have a much vaster understanding and, and, and be inundated with those things and, and get a quicker learning curve than the person who takes six weeks, eight weeks, two months, four months to get those 30 appointments ran. You know, I've, I've seen people come here and haven't ran 30 appointments in a year, you know, and then and they're wondering, you know, why, why is the system not working for me? And, and I know it sounds cold, it kind of may sound cruel, but the reality is the system won't work for you unless you work the system. And, and that's, that's the key. And again, all that goes back to the issue of activity. You know, again, 30 appointments, after 30 appointments, you got a really clear understanding uh, of really beginning to comprehend what it is that we do. So I would say, knock that out, get those 30 appointments knocked out as quick as you can. Brad alluded to schedule, you know, follow, following the recommended SFG schedule, living and dying by your, your, your Google calendar or whatever it is that you use that. But when you, when you're going to be, when you're going to be on it, you got to be on it. When you're going to be committed, you got to be committed. If you say you can only do this three hours a day, well, those three hours a day can't be spent in frivolity. You, you've got to, you've got to really be focused upon, upon those things and let, let your schedule, you know, if you don't dictate your schedule, your schedule will dictate you and you'll always find something to fill it with if you're not filling it with the right activity. And again, then what will happen is it's not like an eight to five where you got to punch a clock. You know, someone's telling you when to be there. Someone's telling you when to leave. It's amazing how much we'll work to build other people's dreams, but yet we'll fall down not building our own. And so that schedule becomes so, so vitally important to making sure that you're doing all the things that are that are necessary. There's a lot too. There's a lot of spinning plates that happen in a symmetry business. And if you're not careful, you'll feel overwhelmed where if you get yourself on a regimented schedule, you, you can really make sense of everything that there is that, that we have to do here. We talk all the time when you first start, it seems like you're drinking from a fire hose. But if you find ways of compartmentalizing all those different things by making sure you're tightening up your schedule and being, being accountable to that, that makes a huge difference. And get with your upline. Those are the kinds of things we as uplines we want to help you with and make sure that you're you're moving in the right direction with with those kinds of things. And then finally, system itself, you know, utilizing your mentor. You know, one of the one of the reasons that not that I was all that, but one of the reasons Brad caught on to things so quickly was he did. He, I mean, honest to God, 15, 20 times a day, he would call me on 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 different things, you know, and, and stuff from from there. And you know, some of it, some of it I could answer, some of it I would just point him to the right direction of where the resources could be found for the answer, you know, and, and those kinds of things. But, you know, you're, we oftentimes say here, you're in business for yourself, but you're not in business by yourself. And we, we all, our system is set up to where we all, as uplines, we all benefit from seeing everyone to succeed. You know, the rising tide raises all ships, as, as the old saying goes. So we just want to make sure that you're you know, you're doing everything and some maybe maybe something that I went through, I could help to alleviate you you going through those things because I, I found a way to navigate around those things. But I'll, you'll never know that if I'm not if I'm not hearing from you and, and so forth from there. Uh, and again, you cannot you cannot take away from this the the absolute vitalness of plugging into the calls, plugging into all of the activities as far as the, the conferences, the regional, the local meetings, all of that stuff is so, so vitally important. Right now, a lot of this stuff is being done via Zoom, and, and you've, just, you've just absolutely got, they make so many resources through HQ uh, and Quility that are, that are available to us that we just simply have to take advantage of, of those things uh, and, and stuff from, from, from there. So, I just want to I just want to take a little bit of time, kind of to 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 wrap this this thing up, Brad. Um, guys, listen, I, I want to tell a little bit about about my story, just just for just for a few moments before before we end the call, to just know that this 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 thing this thing called symmetry is not just another thing. This 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 opportunity and this business and the the things that have been laid out from the founders of this company can can absolutely transform and change your, your life. Uh, I had, again, been involved in this industry for a very long time before coming to Symmetry and thought I, thought I had gotten some things figured out, you know, and, and things of that nature. But the reality was when I came to Symmetry, I was broke and I was broken. I was, I was disillusioned with the industry. I was 
I was uh, felt like I'd been lied to and misled and just was pretty much done uh, with 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 the whole thing. And um, one of the one of the real shining part, and this is just a little bit of vulnerability uh, coming out just to kind of share with you. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm sharing this. I just don't. It wasn't even a part of what I was going to do this morning. But <clears throat> maybe, maybe someone needs to hear. You know, I don't know where you're at, what condition you're in, where your headspace is at. Maybe, maybe you feel like this is a, a point in place where you're just disillusioned and frustrated and you can't seem to get this thing going and things of that nature. Um, man, I'm telling you, I, I, I was there. Um, I, I, know, I know a lot about what that's like. Um, we all have a different journey and a different story of how we got to the point in the place where we are. And I remember, I remember um, something that just was just fundamentally transformational for me. Um, I was at the top of the leaderboard at the company that I was at before and, you know, seeing great things, in my opinion, happen, but wasn't making any money. You know, we were, we were being touted as this great organization, but yet there was no money being made. I mean, to the point where bills were falling behind. I mean, I had, I, I tell the story all the time to my group and it's true. I mean, I was paying the electric bill this month and the water bill the next month, and they were turning off the power and the water of one or the other in between. You know, it's just, it's just crazy. And one of the the wake up, one of a wake up call that, that just kind of came to me, um, my daughter, uh, who now is 22 and is in nursing school as a senior uh, this year, um, she, she's kind of, she's, you know, she's kind of my, my princess and, and, and my world. And I remember specifically on her 16th birthday, you know, all of our kids, we get excited about certain milestone things that occur in our life. And, and my daughter at 16, we were excited. She was going to go get her driver's test done. And and those kinds of things. And, and keep in mind, guys, this was only five years ago. This wasn't an eternity ago. And so my wife, my wife and I had, you know, made the preparations for her to be to take her to get her driver's test on, on, you know, that morning after she turned 16. And um, I'll, I'll never forget this. As, as long as I live, uh, we were struggling financially. My daughter and I got up real early. We're, we're going to have breakfast. And then we were going to go get the test done. And we walked opened our front door about seven o'clock that morning to bound out to the car and to get in the car to go take the test. And um, in the middle of the night, they had came along and repossessed the car. And so here I was as a father, as a husband, you know, I had, I had uh, felt like a failure and, and, and different things. And I just, right there in that moment, I, I just kind of made up my mind that I was no longer going to be in a victim mentality, that I was going to I was going to do something to, to make a difference. And it wasn't, but just a little over a year later, I mean, I, that symmetry even made its introduction into, and I, I can tell you now with only being at symmetry for three and a half years, um, I'm not, I'm not worried about the car being repossessed anymore. You know, I'm not worried about whether the electric bill or whether the, whether the water bill is paid, you know, our lifestyle is different. Not that money is everything. Don't misunderstand me. It's not the material thing, but I'm, I'm telling you guys, when you, when you grab a hold of the symmetry system and allow the symmetry system to take root inside you and you begin to follow this process and you begin to understand that, that what we do. And here's the other great thing. I, I come from a pastorate background. I was a pastor for many years prior to coming into the insurance business. And the fact that we can do something and I can lay my head on my pillow at night knowing that I've done the right thing and that we can honorably say that we've helped people and that we've benefited financially as a result of doing the right thing for clients and, and helping to mentor and those kinds of things, people on your team, I'll tell you, there's, there's something satisfactory with, with that, that you can, that you can really hang your hat on and stuff from there. So, so what I would say to you is, you know, listen, guys, don't, don't, don't come in here and feel like you've got to recreate the wheel and that you've got to figure out new methodologies and new things. What I would say to you, new agent, experienced agent, whoever you are, grab hold of a tried and true system that has been proven over and over and over again with many, many people who have got the accolades behind them to, to say that the system works and just follow the system. What, what was said to me by Jacob Peterson, my, my upline, when, when I was presented this opportunity, because I was done, I was done with the industry. I was tired of being lied to, tired of the things that go along with it. And Jacob, Jacob said to me, he said, Phil, he said, this, this is different. He said, if you will give me 90 days of concentrated effort 
and do the symmetry system for 90 days. At the end of 90 days, if this isn't everything that you thought it was going to be, he said, wash your hands of it and be done and say that you gave it a value of effort. But after, after less than 30 days, I knew there was something different. I knew there was, there was something to uh, this, this system. And so what I, would, what I would say to you is where, wherever you're at, whatever, whatever your circumstance, whatever your situation is, for, you know, go on a 90 day madman cycle, you know, plug into all the conference calls, get involved in all the training, learn the products, buy the leads, make the dials, you know, do get the business issued and then find people that are willing to do the same thing and find you some running buddies to get to get in this thing together. And I promise you, you won't recognize your life in six months from now if you're willing, if you're willing to process that out. Talk to us a little bit about that, Brad. Yeah, I mean everything you said. I mean that's it, it's it's kind of like uh, we were living living the same story just with with different scenarios. You you know where we we ended up losing our house and and I had to move in with my mom. You know in the basement with two young kids and and you know father and husband and very very humbling. And yes. um and I mean my first three months, I mean I came from a, a warm up company as well where I did two years part time and jumped in a year full time and. I mean, I busted it. I mean, I, I busted it and busted it and busted it and made $50,000. And, you know, I was making a lot more as a tennis coach. So coming into symmetry, I mean, I think in my first three months, I, I, I made more than that. And, and really, you know, we were able to get our own place. And, and you know, it's, it's not like you said that it's all about the money, but it frees up more options, right? And where we have been struggling, uh, anybody that struggled financially, it, it's, it's not fun. And it's it just... The relationships around you can suffer and all that because of, of the stress that you're going through. So um, I think a lot of us on here are looking for time and money. And th this is the business model that that allows that. I mean, Phil, you you're here three and a half years, really, since I've been here, you know, a little shy of a year and a half. You haven't been in the field that much at all. I mean, now you're not in the field at all, but even probably the first month or two, you maybe were a little bit. But, you know, so a system where you can come in and in a few years, be out of the field and just coaching and training and supporting and, and have a passive income that allows you to have time and money and to be able to do the things you want to do. That's what I'm looking for. So what I would say is make a decision, make a decision to, you know, plug into the system, give it that 90 days and, and, and really see where this is going to take your life. So it, it's been a true blessing for us and uh, grateful to be a part of the symmetry team. Absolutely. And here's the thing, guys. I know most of you on this call probably don't know us that well, but I, I know me better than anybody else knows me. And, and I know Brad pretty well. The, the truth of the matter is we're, we're just simply not that talented. We're not we're not all that. And, and so all we've done is we've just we've just found a way to, to plug into a great system that's been developed by people that have laid the groundwork and laid the, the roadmap out. And we've just been willing to to just simply for lack of a better term, just lag onto those coattails and, and just follow that system down a path that's led to some, some amazing success. And so, you know, with that being said, Brad's right. It all, it all, at the end of the day, it all boils down to a decision, a decision that you have to make as to whether you're going to wholeheartedly embrace and follow and jump into this system and allow it to change and transform your life, or whether you're going to kind of sit on the sidelines and, and wait and see, you know, how it is that, that's going to, but I, but I promise you, and, and here's what I'll say to you. I know that I know that I know that I know it's not going to be the easiest of journeys. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be fraught with frustration and all kinds of different things that are going to come your way. But here's what I'll tell you. It's not going to be easy, but I promise you that it's going to be worth it if you just keep pursuing the system and keep following and chasing after your dreams with the activity uh, that is necessary to produce, produce the results that you're looking for. So with that being said, I always like to end these calls when I have the opportunity to be on them by, by simply saying this, my daughter was a is a huge fan of the show on TV called Grey's Anatomy. And there was a, there was a character in there, Derek, you know, he always, he was, he always had this saying as a physician, he said, man, it's a great day to save lives. And what I would say to you to end this call today is, you know, this is, this is a great day to transform people's lives and change people's lives. Why not start with your own? Thank you so much for your time. If there's any questions and so forth, they'll forward these if we can help with anything. But again, just simply follow the symmetry system and you will see the success 
that you're looking to accomplish here. God bless each one. Thank you so much. Hope you have a blessed week and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.